Welcome back to another advanced Game Maker Studio tutorial and let's say for example you have a bomb and that explodes and you expect well that everything is getting kind of well getting hit by the blast and as you can see HP which is being uh, shown above the thing is here is being subtracted but then you think I just want to hit once so you just make a variable damage once which you have in your explosion and then you think well everything is going to get hit because I have a collision set up here and then you would expect that everything is getting hit and what is happening no nope. nope only one thing is getting hit for example if you do it again no nope. only that thing again and then you're thinking why the hell is that happening well there are multiple ways how to solve that and I'm gonna go through the easy fix which is not a fix by itself and the more reliable one so if you want to know that stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and ring that bell if you can and if you really like the channel maybe consider sharing it so and let's get right into the meat of it. So what is basically happening here in Game Maker Studio, for example, if you do a collision and do the inbound thingy, for example, do a collision here with uh, the, I call it stay, then it will take the nearest instance, which is there. So, and then, for example, if I plant another bomb and another bomb, every time it will just tick to this one and then because I said damage only once, so do only once the thing to the damaging, this thing won't be working. A uh, workaround is, for example, if you do something like this, to say, okay, let's do it another way. So for example, let's say the other thing, which is your thing, which you're colliding here, has some invincibility, and then it resets, let's say after a second, which I did. So. Here we just say all right, turn it once invisible and then take HP away. So let's see how that works. And now you will see it kind of does work. But the thing is, then it will say, okay, take damage away from here and then jump to this one and then jump to this one and then jump to this one and then to this and to this. Why does that work? Well, because um, now it has time to go to other things, but it's not simultaneously. So basically it's just sequential. So this is one step, then the second one, the third and so on and so on, which is a suboptimal thing in my opinion. So how can we basically circumvent that in, let's say in our explosion? Well, we completely get rid of this guy here because we don't need it anymore. So let's comment it out and do something which is being uh, shown in I don't know I guess I showed it in my laser tutorial so if you wanted to know about data structures and DS list well you're welcome I'm gonna show you that now so what is this new other simultaneous simulu uh, solution well it's creating a DS list at the start and then destroying it instantly after that and you do that every step so basically you build a data structure and you destroy it and what do you do with that data structure well you do a collision rectangle list and what do you do in there well basically you just take the bounding box of the explosion here which is quite huge then the thing you want to have a collision with then of course you have a precise and not me ignore it doesn't really matter then the target list, what is that? This is basically the DS list of targets which we created at the start and it's of course empty. And here you will, we will fill up entries if there are any. And then the last one, well, list ordered. doesn't really matter, it's just saying, okay, do you want it to be ordered? But this could you could completely ignore because it's not too important in this. Um, well, in these circumstances and then you st store it into a, a variable which I just call target and then you're saying all right targets is it bigger than zero why should it bigger be bigger than zero this just means how many targets or may how many hits we have and for example if we go into the room one two three four five six so basically we're having 
six. Yeah, it's six targets. So saying, all right, we're having six targets. Then we do a for loop, go through all our targets, and then we do something like this. And this looks a little bit cryptic. So just bear in mind that you do something like this. And this looks like an array. And here we have an accessor. So basically, this is how you uh, handle these kind of things. So for example, this guy is just a number, but here we have a DS list. And to access that DS list on that specific position, which is, for example, this is the zero or one or two or three, or depending which, how many hits you have, then you put a dot. And then of course you are, let's say, I don't know, for example, like it would be same as, let's say, then invincible so for example bam but here we need to access that the s list on a specific position because there we have stored our id so that guy here but the specific one not just the general one so let's delete this guy and what we're doing we're just checking another if statement saying hey are you invincible my friend and then if you are i make you invincible again then of course I subtract your HP and this is how you access that ID. This is just a placeholder for that one. And then the cycle well returns and then bam, we are done with all the entries. And then in the end, we just destroy the S list. And for example, once we start it, let's see how that looks like. And for example, bam, as you can see, it works perfectly and this is how you can actually set it up so it's a little bit clunky but this is absolutely simultaneously on the same time so if you wanted to do and know how to do that at the same time well here you go because this is how it works and don't be confused by this guy this is just meaning okay i access the i position this is basically it in our ds list so this is just um, well a short connotation how you can do that so basically this is just my id in the ds list zero one and so on and so on hopefully that was of interest to you have a good one one up indie